Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at printing wirelessly. In this episode, we're going to talk about printing wirelessly from your laptop. Now, these days, of course, more and more people are using laptops instead of desktop computers. The desktop tends to anchor you to one place in the house, whereas a laptop allows you to move everywhere you want in the house and to places outside the house as well. Unfortunately, that mobility comes at a bit of a cost to the other peripherals that you typically use inside a home situation, especially the printer. In the past, our printer tended to be connected directly to our printer using a USB cable, and that's not the case anymore now that our computer is mobile and moving around the house, unless you want to carry around your printer everywhere you go. Now, of course, when you have a printer that's connected to your network, like one of our wireless printers here, that's not a problem anymore. Now, the trick is to make sure that your computer can actually connect to the printer over the network. Now, when you get one of these printers, they typically come with a setup disk. In the past, this would put printer drivers and a little bit of software onto your computer for connecting directly to the printer. Now, this setup process also includes a bit to connect over the network. Now, many of these setup disks are good for both Windows and Mac machines, but in some cases, you may have to go to the site for your printer and download a driver from there. Running the setup program on the disk that you get with these wireless printers will automatically install the drivers for the printer, but they'll also look for the printer over the network and set it up from there. Alternatively, these setup programs may show you how to find the IP address on your printer and then give you a space to enter in the IP address that you find on the printer, and then it'll look for the printer that way. After you go through this setup process, your wireless printer should then appear as an option whenever you print a document. So, for example, if you're in your word processing program and you hit the print option, you can then select this new wireless printer from the pull-down menu if it's not already set as the default. Now you should be able to print your photographs and your documents no matter where you are in the house, so long as your computer and your wireless printer are on the same wireless network. Don't forget to check out the other parts in the series. We'll show you how to print from other types of devices. And you can see the show notes for this and the other parts in the series at butterscotch.com. Thank you.